In this video, we have a figure that consists of three triangles. We are given the lengths of a few sides and we have to find angle X. Now, because at this vertex we have a 90 degree angle, to find angle X, we will subtract these two angles from 90 degrees. So then first we need to find these two angles. Let's call them angle A and angle B. And now angle A is an acute angle inside this right triangle. The opposite side of this angle is 39 units and the adjacent side is 52 units. To find this angle we need to use the tangent function. We know that tangent of an angle equals the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Then in this formula we will replace the opposite side with 39 and the adjacent side with 52. Then angle A equals tangent inverse of 39 divided by 52. Then here we use a calculator and we will get that A is approximately 36.87 degrees. Now let's see how we can find angle B. Angle B is an angle inside an isosceles triangle because we see that two sides are equal. And here I want to show you two methods of finding this angle. With the first method we will draw a perpendicular starting from this vertex to the opposite side. This perpendicular splits this side into two equal parts and it also splits angle B into two equal angles. Then here we have a right triangle formed and we can find this side by dividing 31 by 2. So 31 divided by 2 equals 15.5. So then in this figure we will write that this side is 15.5. Now this acute angle here is half of angle B and we can call it B over 2. Then in this right triangle we have this angle B over 2 and we know that the opposite side is 15.5 and the hypotenuse is 52. Then to find this angle we need to use the sine function. We know that sine of an angle equals the opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Then sine of b over 2 equals 15.5 divided by 52. Then to find the angle b over 2 we will take sine inverse of 15.5 over 52. Then b over 2 is approximately 17.34 degrees. Now to find angle B we need to multiply this angle by 2 and we will get that angle B is approximately 34.68 degrees. So here we have both angles A and B and to find angle X we will subtract these angles from 90 degrees. But before we do that let me show you another way of finding angle B. For this we will use the law of cosines. To review the formula here we have a triangle with the sides A, B and C and the angles A, B and C. Notice that angle A is opposite of side A, angle B is opposite of side B and angle C is opposite of side C. Then the law of cosines is B squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of angle B. So again side B squared equals side A squared plus c squared minus 2ac times cosine of this angle B. And of course you can write this formula with A squared or c squared on the left side. But for us we need this formula to find angle B. 
So if we solve this for angle B, then we will get the following formula. Angle B equals cosine inverse of A squared plus C squared minus B squared over 2AC. In our problem, sides A and C are both 52 units, and side B is the side that is opposite of angle B, and it is 31 units. We will replace these numbers in this formula, and we will get the following. Angle B equals cosine inverse of 52 squared plus 52 squared minus 31 squared all over 2 times 52 and times 52. Then we use a calculator and we get that angle B is approximately 34.68 degrees. So as you see here with both methods we got the same angle. Now to find angle X we will subtract angles A and B from 90 degrees. So angle X equals 90 degrees minus 36.87 degrees and minus 34.68 degrees. Then angle X equals 18.45 degrees. So we have angle X and the problem is completed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.